people are looking for your business every single day. Are they finding you? I'd like to talk about two different examples, and at the end of the examples, I want you to think about which one you would rather be getting business from. The first situation has to do with something I'm sure many of you have experience with, and that is running an ad in the local newspaper. Of course, this is something where you pay usually a good amount of money to put your ad in a newspaper that's seen by you know thousands of people. Now, of those of those people, many will see the ad, but how many will actually be interested? You know, as you know. Uh, you, what you're doing is you're getting the word out about your business. You know, you're, you're, it's a good push. Your ad's going to be seen by a lot of people. A small percentage will actually be interested, but that's okay because you know, as long as some people are interested, that's new clients. And then hopefully the uh, the, the money that you make from the new clients will make up for the the money that you spend in advertising. Uh, one of the problems with uh, advertising in a newspaper is that it counts on people remembering the ad later when they want the service. So let's say, for example, that you run a salon and you have an ad that um, you know offers a coupon off of a, a for a new customer or something like that, and um, somebody sees your ad and they are thinking about getting their hair cut, but they weren't going to do it until uh, you know next week. They'll see your ad and th they're not immediately going to take the ad and and run off to the salon. You need to count on them remembering you know next week when they really do want their, their haircut that they're going to remember that they saw your ad the week before so it's it's uh there's just there's, there's some things that come up that can cut down on the effectiveness of of your ad an additional problem with an ad is that it can only display so much information i'm sure that that you that you found out from creating ads that it can be very frustrating because you only have a limited amount of space to say whatever you want to, to say and oftentimes there's a lot that you could share about your business and you have to really decide you know what to actually focus on to have your ad be effective now i'd like to to compare this to another situation and that is internet search. Basically an internet search occurs whenever somebody sits down on, at their computer and um, the internet is such a huge place that people, what they do when they want to find something online is they turn to the search engines. Google is the number one search engine. So let's say that you live in, um, let's say that you live in Baltimore, Maryland, and you type in Baltimore, you know, your local area salon because you're looking to get your hair cut. And uh, we're, we're finding out that um, you know, most people aren't even using the yellow pages or the phone book anymore. They are using the internet to find things. So they type Baltimore Salon to find, you know, salons near their area. And then what come up here are some salons. And then uh, they pick one that they like and uh, they click on it. And then they are instantly taken to that salon's website. And now, rather than being uh, forced to focus things on an ad, you know these these people are able to show a lot about their their business. They're able to show uh, the services that they have. They're able to uh, you know offer promotions that they're having. They can change it on a regular basis. Show pictures. There's all kinds of things that they can do with their website that they couldn't do in an ad. So let's let's think about this for a second and go back here. When an internet search happens, visitors can instantly find more information out on the business, including the hours of operation phone number, testimonials, uh, you know, as far as what other people are saying about the service, an email address contact form, coupons if they're available too, and so forth. So in situation one, you know, we had people seeing your ad in the newspaper, you know, some people being interested and, you know, remembering that they saw your ad when they actually wanted to get your service and then, of course, they come in and, and they come in your they're a new customer for you. Uh, another situation would be somebody sits down at their computer and at that moment wants to find a salon right then and there because they want to go get their hair cut. They type, you know, their local city, whatever business they're looking for, let's say restaurant. Let's say uh, Italian restaurant. And then what's coming up, of course, are Italian restaurants in their area. From here they can even look at uh, reviews of sites, uh, see what other people are saying about the restaurants, they can uh, the menus, all these different things. Now here's the catch. If your business is not coming up for these local results, you're missing out on an avalanche of targeted traffic. Again, I, I want to just really emphasize how valuable this traffic is because uh, you know we're talking about people in the newspaper that, that see your ad and maybe they're interested. These people that are sitting down at their computer, they are looking for your restaurant or they're looking for your salon right now. And if you are not coming up right here or over here, these people, it's like they're knocking at your door and you're not answering. And that's that's the power of you know doing well on the internet. Uh, these customers convert well, 
traffic can be can be very great. In fact, there's ways that we can even see how much traffic is out there. But this video just focuses, you know, on to introduce you to the concept, and I'll be sharing more with you in a bit.